Good morning cultists! In our previous episode, we left things off after watching the forces of chaos lay waste to our Lost Valley region. Thankfully, Avalon here was able to mop up the weakened chaos armies, so we just need to recolonize these places, which shouldn't be a problem because we do have a lot of food stockpiled. There are, I believe, a couple more chaos armies out in the seas though, so we should probably either go look for them or just shore up our defenses. We could do both. So Adam, why don't you get situated in the Star Tower? And Ikit, I believe your mission is to continue to the Flaming Serpent. Or no, the Fuming Serpent rather. Since uh, Adam here already has the uh, Star Tower. And Simus, I guess since we're done defending this area, I think I might actually redirect you up north so that we can take care of Chotek as well as Skeggy. Spoiler alert. So get up there, please. And who else? Uh, Lord Skrulk. Would it be faster for you to use the Underway? Not really, I guess. Alright then, how about you also head towards the Temple of Clankan? I guess whoever gets there first will move on to Skeggy and the other one will stay to take over Chotek. Hopefully. So, in between episodes, I went ahead and spent the majority of my money. Um... Upgrading some of my buildings and whatnot, so we should see some of them come online. And I also had to make some changes here. So something I kind of did that I should not have done was build the clan armory in these places with the um, resources. I should have actually built them in places where they don't have the resources so that we can maximize the uh, space and build the scrap heap in here instead. So I'm currently, um, I've currently set some of those places to get destroyed and whatnot. And I've left a little bit of money left over because I wanted to get ourselves a new uh, assassin to put into uh, Static Display's army. Now the question is, do we want to go with Trevor the Warpsmith, who is a weapon master, or do we want to go with Murta, who's tough? Armor piercing damage and melee attack versus armor and uh, melee defense. Um, I don't know how much of a different 25 armor is going to give us, so I might do Weapon Master instead because... I mean, assassins are all about um, killing people, right? Sure, let's do it. Trevor the Wep uh, Warpsmith, welcome to our team. And we will get you to replenish uh, troops, and I guess we'll go with some of these things. Dance of Death, and let's get um, Gutter Fighter or Elusive. Let's go with Gutter Fighter. Okay, so 25 armor would have given us 45 armor in total, which I guess wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I think we've made the right choice. Hopefully. And who else? Uh, Signlet, how about actually, since you guys being in Skeggy isn't really uh, doing anything, how about we go exploring this way? Yeah, because I want to see where the uh, Chaos guys are. And I think these guys are the closest one to the shore, or something other, or rather. Um, I guess that's the closest, or the farthest you can go? Hmm, why didn't you go through there? It's a little odd, but sure. Okay, so I think that's about it for this turn. Unless, Engenbolt, we have some plans for you. I guess, you know what, how about we send you back to Chotek? Sure. And we'll see how that goes. So something I noticed in between episodes is the defenders of the Great Plan are back somehow, which of course implies that the spirit of the jungle is back too. And somehow not led by Nakai, who I guess was absorbed by um, Hexawaddle and then subsequently destroyed. Weird. Weird that they can actually come back like this without their proper uh, legendary lord. Hmm. Alright, well, in any case, I think we should be able to get a trade agreement with the Exiles of Nehek, so let's go ahead with that. Please and thank you. Fantastic. And Nagarod, are you sure you don't want a uh, non-aggression pact? Oh, come on, man. Good grief. They're only gonna get uh, more angry with us, so that's not something I'm looking forward to, not gonna lie. Alright, so Adam, you're already in there. I guess what we could do is actually send Static Display out to um, farm experience points by harvesting these things, right? 
Yeah, I think we'll do that, and then we'll try to get him up to a level 15 so that we can get that um, upgrade to our uh, laboratory. Yeah, and I also want to see Simus and um, Lord Skrulk in action because we kind of need to test out the Plague Monk sensor bearers as well as... Oh, no. Okay, well, thankfully, um, we do have Ikit and... Uh, Adam uh, situated in these locations, so we should be fine, I hope. Hopefully. Let's see what kind of army they're feeling. Oh! This is not a good siege army at all. I see. Okay. Sure. And uh, a lot of good retinue for, or whatchamacallit, for, um, uh, for Trevor. Okay, uh... Adam might be able to go tussle with this guy right now, but... I'd say, let's just wait until maybe they're a little bit closer. I guess we can have Ikit go out here to reinforce, but nah, that's fine. So, clan armory has been destroyed, so we will go ahead and create the rubbish pit instead. And, uh, work towards rebuilding that stuff. Okay, so, who else needs to move? Hmm, Simus? Let's continue up north, please and thank you. And Skrulk, you'll do the same. Get up there. Okay, Static, you should be able to pick up, um, what's-his-face now, I think. So, why don't you, uh, I guess we're planning on having you go harvest these things. So, let's have you head towards there. Or should we take the underway instead? Um, I think in this case, we might want to just, uh, leg it. Yeah, we might do the underway from here, maybe? Hmm... Okay, let's head there, and then we'll just take the underway a couple times, and we should be able to uh, make it into the, the altar of the Horned Rat, I think. Or is it just gonna take three turns and... No, it's gonna be almost three turns. Oh no, it's... it is actually three turns, never mind. Okay, then how about you just go that way. And Trevor, go ahead and uh, merge up with Static's army there. Fantastic. Okay, so who else needs to do their stuff? Avalon? Um, I'm kind of scared that the... Ooh, what the hell? Weird. The Drowned actually managed to take a um, settlement belonging to uh, these guys. Holy crap. Well, interesting. I'm kind of scared that they might want to settle the uh, Sentinel of Time right away. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, figure that they might want to try that so let's colonize that at the highest level fantastic and we can just rebuild all this stuff now i believe we want to go with this and this and that nice and settlement upgrade is now available let's go for the grand warren um do we need to upgrade this right now i guess we might as well sure uh what else rubbish pit and last but not least not sure what to get there Oh, you know what? Oops. Never mind. I do know what to get there. Yeah, I should have um been aware of that one too. And I think that's about it for you guys, isn't it? Okay, Ingenbolt, I guess. Um, they don't have any wall here, so you don't need to uh, damage their walls. Maybe we should send you back to the uh, Skeggy. Oh, no. Shit. Um, okay, I guess this one stack decided to go up north instead of, uh, south, so... Hmm... Thankfully, we do have Simus and Skrulk heading up north, so... Bit of a, uh, lucky break there, I guess. What else do we want to upgrade? Uh, do we need to upgrade these things? I guess we might as well, sure. Why not? Avalon, let's have you... Finish off Ruin and Decay. Fantastic. And that's about it for this turn, isn't it? I believe so. Unless you guys need to continue moving. You can't uh, affect them while on a ship, can you? Alright, so I guess since we kind of know where they are, maybe we'll have these guys head back? Do we want to build an Under Empire under Skeggy? Probably not, considering how um, I'm planning on just completely annihilating these dudes anyways. So, we'll just send Silent the Mad back there. And Pustin, I guess, 
if there is somewhere that we want to explode via um, Under Empire, maybe we should look into possibly setting something up for Nagarond. Because I'm pretty sure we'll get to a point where they will want to attack us and all that such later on. Alright, let's do it preemptively, sure, and see how that works. And we have about a thousand macaronis. So we could potentially upgrade something else. Sure, why not? Because this place does need the growth. Yeah, I might actually replace the Rattling Warrens uh, later on with something else. But um, I guess if anything, we might want to uh, replace them with the uh, defensive walls. Military lines. I'm good, thank you. For now, at least. Hmm. I'm kind of hoping that the Awakened don't confederate the um, these guys, because that's going to make things a little messy, I think. Uh-oh. Okay, so... Right, that's fine. Uh, clan pit destroyed. Fantastic, so let's make sure that there's a rubbish pit instead. We've uh, replaced that thing with rubbish, it seems. Right, Simus. We might be a little too far to be able to... Um, what's it? Reinforce that place in time, but... At least try to go for it. Huh. This doesn't look like a very very powerful army. Let me go ahead and uh, make myself a Doom Rocket before I forget. Fingers crossed that we get the double Doom Rocket. Come on. Luck be my lady tonight. Son of 50 million buttholes. What the fuck? That's never triggered for me. Unbelievable. And Static, where are you? You're a little too far away, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, well, that's fine. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have been uh, using the Underway instead. Ah, crap. Too late. That's fine. I guess there's no real rush. Um, Adam, why don't you get in close and we'll have Ickit lead the actual attack itself. Uh, because he's close to getting to level 40. Sure. Do it up. Do we want to bother with this fight? I don't think there's any army or any unit that I haven't seen in action. Oh, I guess we can have the Help It Abomination do something. Hmm. Do we want to... Waste some time? I guess we should, considering that... I don't plan on having any other um, big manual fights anytime soon. No, this might be our only opportunity to see the Help Hit Abomination in action for the next little while. Okay, um, so what exactly is their role? Let's see. Let's take a look at this thing first. Wow, wow, wee wow. Hello, nurse. Rrr. If that's not a bag of sex, I don't know what is. Holy shit. I love, absolutely love the unit designings in this game. That is just fantastic. Oh, it's got even like, um, what's it? Insectoid legs and shit too. That's awesome. Very cool. Friendly looking beast. Oh, it's got a little doom wheel at the back. That's hilarious. That is absolutely hilarious. Very creative. Okay, so I'm expecting the Hellpit Abomination to do wonders here. And um, I guess we'll have our assassin try to find their hero to assassinate. Unfortunately, the hero is on a chariot, so that might make the assassinating a little bit more difficult than I'd like. But so be it. I guess we'll take the high ground. All right. Uh, let's just set these guys up properly. And this time, I'll do my very best to make sure that the, uh, what's it, rat ogres don't get completely ignored. Mm, and I guess we could, sure. Oh, no, sorry. You guys should be in your own teams. Ah, uh, I guess that'll do. Now, are we happy with this? Mm, let's put our, oh, wait. I guess they have that uh, giant hill in front of them, so this might be a great place for us to just kind of leave our uh, weapons teams to do most of the damage. Yeah, let's do that. So, Gisales, you guys can be there. Uh, rattling Gunners. Mm, you should be able to fire from here into the uh, thing there, so I guess that's fine. Mortars, Deathwing Globadiers. Yeah, that's good. And... Flamethrowers. Uh, that might not be as 
good, but that's fine, I guess. Rat ogres, you guys can be uh, the flanking dudes. What else? What else? Doom flayers, I guess get back a little bit, because you guys can move quickly, so that's fine. And uh, warp lightning cannon, and play claw catapult a little farther back. Okay, so let's get back a little bit more. Sure. Although, mm, maybe we want to just keep there. Yeah, that way at least these guys can throw into the um, dudes as they're coming over the uh, hill or something. Alright, well, I mean, we'll try for it. I'm sure we'll be fine either way, because I don't think um, there's any more dudes coming in hot and heavy, so we should be... Yeah, we should be good. Okay, Warlock Engineer, why don't you guys get uh, set up in the woods? We'll have you guys do some... Um, what's it? Raining down of magics on their buttholes. And I guess the assassins can try to go after the, uh, their lord. Okay. Um, not great. How about, I guess we can try to the concealment bombs? Or how about we go with slippery instead? And see if we can't get you to circumvent their thing. So, does this make you just completely invisible? Or do you become hit? Okay. Not exactly sure what got revealed there. Oh, my assassin. Right, okay, that makes sense. Um, let's see. Okay, there we go. We are starting to uh, unleash our range stuff on them, which is great. And what about you guys? You guys should probably advance and start attacking the Marauder Horsemen? Probably not going to really work out the way that I'm thinking, but why don't you just chase after them? And you guys can start lobbing your shit into their buttholes and go for it. Rat ogres? Yeah, go for it too. Help an abomination is actually attacking dudes now. Fantastic. Look at that. Holy crap. Okay. Well, uh, why don't you guys also advance, please and thank you. Go for it. Atta boys. And Deathwind, uh, Death Glow Bombardiers. Can you maybe fire upon the Marauder Horsemen instead? Help at Abomination. I'm expecting great things from you. Let's go for it. Annihilate their buttholes. And uh, otherwise, I guess the Warp Lock Gazales are doing their own thing, which is fine by me. Sure. Doom Flayers, I guess we should have you chase after the Marauders with great weapons? Yeah, why not? Whoa, holy crap. Fucking Rattling Gunners are amazing. I love them. So I think the enemy is currently in a stance where uh, they're... I think they're in their march stance, if I'm not mistaken. Like their naval equivalent of the march stance. So if they beat a hasty retreat, we shouldn't need to uh, follow them for us to get a full stack wipe. Aw, oh, man. I completely missed my help at Abomination just tearing these guys uh, asunder. Shit. Oh, well. That's fine. We'll just see the uh, numbers once they're done. All right, I'm pretty sure we're going to see a full retreat soon enough, hopefully. Oh, the Rat Ogres are actually chasing down the Marauder Horsemen, surprisingly enough. Wow, this thing is actually fast. It is 58 speed, which is, wow, fairly decent, I would say. Fairly decent indeed. Holy crap, holy. All right, guys. Do we need to chase those dudes down? I guess we might as well. Um, any issues? I don't think we don't... Yeah, I think we're fine. There might be some groups fighting back, but um, it's mostly the uh, cavalry dudes that are still sticking around. So why don't we go chase them down? There we go. Uh, actually, why don't you turn around and beat these guys off, please? And our help and abomination is chasing them down and um, firmly implanting them into the um, dreams or nightmares of our enemies, of course. So the enemies will be uh, paying out of their pocket for uh, therapy bills as they, um, you know, work through their PTSD by having to uh, face off against the Hellpit Abomination and all that crap. Where is that thing, by the way? Oh, there it is. Alright, so we've taken some casualties, but like I said, we should be, we should be okay for the most part. Hey, not that much, it seems. Not that many, rather. Well, Adam's team only lost 14. Um, it gets 
I think we saw some casualties with our storm vermin, but otherwise, we should be all right. We could just uh, eat the captives, but mm, plus two to food, or you know what? We'll just go with the food because we can just uh, replenish. Wow, almost completely. Oh, turns out that they weren't completely uh, destroyed. Really? I guess they weren't in the march stance then. All right, well, um, we're going to need to follow up and just completely stack wipe them. But before we do, let me level these guys up. Ikit, let's get you... Uh, Trixie? Or do we want to go with... How about we go with Looter instead? We finish that off, and then if we have some uh, points left over, we'll work on Trixie or whatever. Doomclaw, I guess we can get you started on Ballistics Instructor. And who else? Warp Attack. Let's get you Bloody Blade, and then we'll work on the other stuff later. No oh no, um, I guess Immortality is now in your game. Fantastic, and who has not moved? Don't care. That's it? Okay. We could actually just have Adam finish him off, so that it can get stay home. Mm. Level 38. We might as well just try to get him to a finish off his level. Sure. Get out of here. Thank you. And we will go ahead and devour them yet again. Sweet. Okay, Ikit, back into the Fuming Serpent. And Adam, I guess we'll have you put a bucket in there again. Sure. Okay, Adam has leveled up, so let's get you working on... Hmm, Wound Maker or Blade Shield? I guess we'll go with Melee Defense, make you more beefy. Warp Attack. Ooh, we can get you Assassin's Trophy. Hmm, which is a Hex on a Lord or Hero. I see. I think... You know what? Sure. Why not? And who else has leveled up? Oh no, the Mad. Alright, Slippery. Fantastic. And Doomclaw. Lots of level ups here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, so I guess this is... Unless there's another Chaos Army out and about, that might be it for that location. Um, as in, we don't need to worry too much about anything else. And Avalon will have you go uh, colonize the Festering Pit now, I think. Sure. You should be able to, yes? Yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, colonize this at level 5. Fantastic. So the Lost Valley is no longer lost. Uh, let's make sure that we build the Corrupted Spawning Pool, which gives us a fair bit of food. And we'll go with the Exotic Animal Tamer. And what else do we need to rebuild? Obviously the Taskmaster's Platform. And I think... I think we used to have an Arcane Generator here, right? Or did we not? Hmm... I'm actually not sure what buildings we had here. But let's go for the Construction Cavern. Um, Pox Cauldron. Did we have the Pox Cauldron here? Or did we have... I guess since this place already has the... Mmm... Yeah, I suppose the Southern Great Jungle already has some of the uh, more uh, advanced military buildings. Perhaps we'll just go with the regular stuff instead. Go. Go away. Huh. Let's see. Um... Because the Northern Great Jungle is our powerhouse. Yeah. We have basically everything there. Guacamole Crater is one of our central locations as well. Uh, let's go for... I guess we'll get the weapons dump. And... Hmm... Ox Cauldron or the... Uh, thingamajig. Okay, since we already have a couple of those, let's just go for the Pox Cauldron instead. Sure. And maybe we can spread some corruption to the uh, neighboring territories and then just, um, I don't know, undermine them that way. If that makes any sense. And who else needs to move? Austin, you're going to continue your little journey up north by yourself and silent the mad. Uh, hold off on attacking that just yet. Okay. We might be able to... Hopefully... Because, wait... If the other Chaos Army is anything like we... Anything like the uh, one that we just beat off... They shouldn't have any siege weapons. 
And if they don't have any siege weapons, they might need to hunker down and build some siege weapons before they can actually... Okay, so it doesn't seem like they're able to uh, attack the holding just yet. So, Simus, let's get you in as close as we can. And then we'll try to defend uh, the Temple of Tlemcan. Go for it. Alright, let's see. Temple of Tlemcan. Beat these guys back. Alright, you know what? I want to see Simus in action with his uh, screaming bell thing, so let's do this. And also we can see the uh, Plague Monk sensor bearers uh, strut their stuff, as it were. Though this may go on for longer than five minutes or whatever. I guess if I'd let the AI take it over, um, we could have just completely annihilated them in one fell swoop, but oh well. Oh, right. Since Liv the Insane needs to rely on Simus, we're going to need to um, wait until... Simus gets into position before we, uh, you know, throw ourselves right in there, if that makes any sense. Alright, why don't you guys head back a little bit, please and thank you, because we need to wait for the reinforcements, i.e. Simus. And I guess we'll just put ourselves over yonder, except for the uh, gutter runners, of course, who will be leading the enemy in a merry little goose chase. Although the Norskin Warhounds, I think, might be a little bit faster than our... Gutter Runners, if I'm not mistaken. 52 speed? Yeah... Faster by a lot, it turns out. Oops! Well, that's fine. We might lose the Gutter Runners, but... You know, it's not a big deal, because these are just the, um... What's it? The, uh, Garrison. Yeah, although I don't know what happens if we uh, lose the Garrison entirely. I'm assuming not much, right? That's my guess. Mmm... Let's get you guys merged up. And I have to remember that Simus doesn't have a lot of uh, Storm Bremen, which is fine. Uh, do we need you to cast any magics right now? I don't think so, no. Yeah, why don't you, uh, Storm Bremen, go fight the Warhounds. You should be able to uh, take care of them quite easily, I imagine. All right, Sensor Bearers, go for it. I'm expecting amazing things from you guys. And regular Storm Bremen, I guess go after the... Morskin Warhounds too? Alright, uh, can we maybe bombard them with our mortars? Actually, we might want to do that with our... Uh, do that with the uh, army that's farther away. Warp Grinders? I don't know if you're going to be coming in handy here, but I guess maybe do something. Gutter Runners with Poison. Ah, you guys should be good. Let's have you maybe... I don't know. Harass the Marauders that are coming in hot and heavy. And Warp Fire Throwers? Mm, maybe fire upon the Marauder Horseman. Rattling Gunners, do the same. Please and thank you. And Dwarf Machine Thing Killer. Okay, let's have you go to... Uh, I don't know if there's any point in attacking or chasing after the Horseman. Though we might get lucky and actually uh, catch them with their pants down. And only attack when their pants are down, of course. For the um, most delicious of uh, surprise butt sex. Mm, warp Lightning Cannon. I don't know if they have any... I guess the Horsemen are considered large. Uh, maybe try to hit the Chieftain? Is that a waste of your talents and time? Possibly. Help at Abomination. Let's show that the Chaos aren't the only ones with um, grotesque monstrosities. And uh, Simus, let's make sure that you actually do something here. Dreaded 13th spell, so we can summon uh, Stormbrenner with Halberds. Actually, this might come in uh, really handy if we just summon them up on top of their uh, Marauder Horsemen. Yes. Except I think the range is not quite as good as the... Um, as uh, Warp Lightning, is it? Eh, not that it would really matter too much. Okay, so what, our, what are our uh, guys doing there? Oh, you're actually getting stuck in with the uh, Norskin Warhounds. That may not be the best use of our talents, but um, honestly, I don't really care too much. Because this is just going to be a walk in the park. A bloody, murderous walk in the park. But a, a walk in the park regardless. Okay, um, Simus, let's try to get you to summon the Dreaded 13th spell. Oh, interesting. So the regular version just sort of summons uh, the ones with halberds. And the upgraded version summons ones with sword and shield. Interesting. Right, well, we definitely want halberds this time, so go for it. Ah, damn it. Well, 
I guess we kind of caught them from the back, so still useful, but um, not quite the same as spawning it right on top of them, unfortunately. All right, so Simus is screaming bell. Let's watch you maybe get into a tussle with the uh, Marauders there. Because I think our help at Abomination is making short work of uh, Gesu Fjordbreaker. Who goes around punching um, fjords and um, icebergs and whatnot. So he's a bit of a known douche in the uh, iceberg community, as it were. And that's about it. Okay, I think we need to at the very least... Wow. You guys are just... Laying it right thick into a Simus's face. I don't know what issue you have with Simus here, but um, can you not fire into his brand new uh, spanking bell? Okay, so a <laughs> rat ogre is pulling on this thing, which is pretty hilarious, and Simus himself is situated on the bell. My god, if that were me, I would just be vomiting all over the place, which I think I already said. All right, Doom players, see if you can catch up to your uh, your breaker and tell him that um, show him that we're not quite as weak as a fjord uh, when it comes to being punched in the face. Can we actually catch up to him? I don't think we can, but we'll try to maybe head him off at the pass there. There we go. Come on, we can do it. I believe in us. You got this, guys. You got this. Don't make me need to drop a nuke on him. Come on. He's down to 400 health. All right, guys. Everyone, every single one of you guys need to be on Guess Who Ford, uh, Fjord Breaker. Come on. His, uh, what's it? Iceberg punching days are over. That's right, you son of a bitch. They're going down. He dead. Fantastic. <laughs> well, I just avenged every fjord breaker or every fjord that uh, ever existed, so you're welcome. Um, Antarctica and also the North Pole, etc., etc. Various places where fjords can be found. Um. Since that isn't going to affect Simus's army, let's just go ahead and eat them. Fantastic. Oh no, he's still around. That is unfortunate. Huh. Okay. Um, I would rather not wait around for this guy to get destroyed, so I'm just gonna spend another turn uh, making sure that we... What am I talking about here? Making sure... Sorry, I'm just, uh... Yeah, we, we might as well just uh, stick around to um, watch him get just completely demolished, right? Do we need to upgrade anything in Hexawaddle? We do. I need to keep one space open for the Stellar Pyramids of the Southern Skies, but otherwise... Hmm... What do we want to build? I feel like it's kind of appropriate to build the... Um... Hox, Cauldron, and Hexawaddle as an affront to the uh, Lizard Gods. Yeah, or... I could get rid of some of these things and then maybe build uh, some of the advanced military stuff here instead. Yeah, that could work. But let's not worry about that right now because we are kind of running short on dough. Uh, what places need upgrades? Yes, let's go for the die maker, and I guess we'll try to upgrade these. And that's about all our money. Fantastic. Who else needs to move? I think we're good. Yeah, I'm hoping that this guy doesn't bugger off too much, but knowing how the AI functions with this stuff, or at least getting a slight gist of how it works, I'm pretty sure um, we'll be. They won't. Uh, they'll just try to uh, immediately uh, seat that back down again. Because, yeah, I think the AI tends to be somewhat suicidal with that, um, with these chaos spawns that come out of nowhere with, uh, no bases and all that such. Or he's, I guess, doing a spot of raiding, which, you know what, I can't really blame him for. He is Norskin after all. Okay, do we want Scroll to take care of this or Simus? Uh, let's get Scroll to do it instead. Get him some experience and whatnot. Fantastic. And we will enslave them. Sweet. Good job, guys. Good job. So that's the chaos destroyed. Fantastic. So now the question is, do I want to stick around until maybe we get the thing done? No, I guess what I'll do is um, let the turns pass by in between episodes. Or wait, no. I guess since we are planning on attacking um, 
Uh, these guys. Maybe we should stick around. Yeah, okay. Well, Simus, I'm going to have you go over to the Port Reaver. Can you uh, just use the Underway by any chance? You can't quite reach, can you? Okay, so how about you get into the Temple of Clamcan and... Excuse me. Get over there by yourself. Or we can have you attack Gentleman Jenkins here. Which wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. You can get some more food and uh, loot that way, right? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's have you attack Gentleman Jenkins. Fuck off, Gentleman Jenkins. And we won't uh, call in our Blood Hall Coven ally. And of course, they're buggering off. Nope, come back here, food. We will fangoriously devour you. Fantastic. Nice. Freebooters of Port Royale, dead as shit. And, oh no, there's a lot of vampiric corruption here, isn't there? Crap, I didn't realize how bad it was getting in Skeggy. Okay, I guess that's another reason why we need to uh, destroy these guys. Alright, scroll. Let's get you in position to attack Chotek. And, um... Sign up the mad. You know what? I guess we should worry about that in our next episode. Yeah, so I guess... Let me just quickly level up Simus here. Uh, why don't you get Arcane Conduit? And who else needs to do their stuff? I guess that's about it. We can have, um... You know what? We'll do this in our next episode, but we will have Static Display just cruising through the, um, Seven Seas and collecting all this stuff, getting some experience points and getting to level 15 so that we can get our, um lab upgraded and all that uh, shit. Uh, Pustin, I guess we'll work on Death Frenzy. And has anyone else leveled up? Nope, that's about it. So in between episodes, I'll look through my settlements and see what we need to upgrade. Uh, in, our, in our next episode, we will most likely go to war with the Drowned. Um, try to claim these two regions and then maybe... I don't know. I don't know if we need to just completely annihilate them, but it might be safer that way. Yeah, they've got four settlements. And I think one of them is down south here. Oh, no. I guess they've uh, taken it back. Well, good for you guys. Sure. Glad that worked out. And uh, you're welcome. All right. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.